Um, if I was running the country, what I would do first of all is I would set up a youth-based project and I would send all those kids who have just come out of school, they don't want to go to college, they don't want to go to work, they've not really got any qualifications or anything, and I would build a recycle plant. And I would send all these kids over to the recycle plant and um, I would get them to work over there. Um, and what I'd do is I'd build a cookhouse for them and some beds and stuff and um, I'll get some chefs and stuff in there and some engineers and they would learn from these people and this would become a self-generated place so they'll all be doing everything for themselves in time. Um, they would, I'd get them to make, um, get like, because everyone has waste, so I'd, I'd get them to pack up all the spare clothes and stuff, send them off to third world countries. Um, bits of broken chairs and stuff, I would get them to you know, fix them and send them to charities. And um, this is not, you know, no one has to do it, it's, it's voluntary, you know, it's, it gives the kids a purpose in life for them to get up in the morning and go to bed for something. And if this is for successful, I'll do um, three or four of these all over the country or maybe more. Um, my next point I'd like to talk about is ID cards. I would also make everyone in the country have ID cards. So you could be 1001. So anyone, you just have your name on the ID card and that's it. And what happens is this will all go onto a data system so that everyone, you can see how many people are in the country, how many people are paying tax, how many people are using travel, um, uh, eating, um, how many newborn babies there are, um, how many people are, are becoming 60 and getting their uh, pension, how many people have just left school. So we get a whole idea of what's going on um, and how many people. Um, if people leave the country, you just hand in your ID card. If people are coming into the country, you give them um, an ID card. And this will just give us a whole um, new idea about what's going on and how many people there are in the country. Um, I would also make, um, I think, people who don't work, um, who have not got a suitable, um, you know, if you can't, if you're um, really ill and you can't work, that's absolutely fine. If you've got no real issue why you can't work, um, I think they should make people um, work for the council. And what would happen is, is that you'd be, um, you know, uh, cleaning out bins, emptying bins, you'll be sweeping the streets. It's not a very good job, but um, if you can't be bothered to uh, get a, um, a proper proper working job and you'd get your wages and stuff like this and this would take people off the dole and stuff like that. Um, I would also send some more equipment out to Afghan. I don't believe that they've got enough equipment out there for the soldiers, um, for you know um, injuries and medical reasons, so I'd send some more equipment out there. And um, that's really it. Thank you.